Profile today on CBS is powered by Ram Trucks, <coughs> America's best light duty pickup for new vehicle quality. And welcome back to the NFL Today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Commanders and the Giants. Let's get you out to East Rutherford with our announcers, Andrew Catalan, Tiki Barber, Matt Ryan, and A.J. Ross. JP, it's the first afternoon home game of the season for Giants fans. And the team is looking for any daylight they can find. A pivotal day for Saquon Barkley and Big Blue as they take on Chase Young and the rival Washington Commanders. And hi everyone, alongside Matt Ryan and Tiki Barber, I'm Andrew Catalan. We'll hear from A.J. Ross coming up. And Tiki, welcome back. You're one of the best to ever wear a Giants uniform. And today is the first time you're in the booth for a home Giants It game. is. This feels like the, the, the new mansion that was built on my teardown <laughs> at Giants Stadium. This is my first time back. It kind of is like home, but it's exciting to be here because the Giants have a lot of optimism despite their one in five start. Coach Dable, first thing he said to us when we walked into the building on Friday was, this is not a funeral. Get those smiles on your faces. And it started to take over. Terod Taylor is taking over for Daniel Jones, who's been injured with a neck injury and been out for two weeks. He played last week, and we saw some more explosive plays. He wasn't afraid to push the ball down the field. He operates his offense in a very comfortable and commanding way despite his quiet personality. It helps, obviously, that Saquon Barkley is back. He missed three games earlier in the year, but he came back and he ripped off a couple of big runs in the second half. And for this Giants team to start scoring touchdowns, it's been 35 goals for 35 possessions, I should say, since they scored an offensive touchdown. They need Saquon to be Saquon. When he's there, 122 plus rushing yards per game. When he's not, it's under 74. He's got to be the catalyst that this Giants offense relies upon, especially against a very good Washington defense. Meanwhile, it continues to be a revolving door on the Giants offensive line. A.J. Brian Dable said he's never seen anything like this. That's right, Brian Dable joked with us. If one more member of his O-line goes down, he's going to have to go out there himself. They've had nine different O-line starters in the first six weeks of this season, by far the most of any team in the league. Today they're going to be without right tackle Evan Neal, center John Michael Schmitz, and left tackle Andrew Thomas, as well as set a nickel, rather, of Dory Jackson. And this game may very well come down to defense, with the Giants defense really proud of the way they performed the against the Bills, holding them scoreless through the first three quarters of that game, and the Commanders de-elevating against the Falcons, holding them to just 16 points, guys. Yeah, AJ, thank you. Our crew was in Atlanta for the Commanders' victory a week ago, and Matt, I thought it was a much cleaner game plan for Jack Del Rio in the defense. I agree with you. I thought Jack Del Rio did a very nice job, and he's got a front four that everybody knows about, and they create pressure, but the missing piece had been turnovers, and the Washington secondary did a nice job. They're going to get opportunities where quarterbacks are throwing them 50-50 uh, balls because of what their defensive line can do. It's all about them making plays. And one of the guys who has to lead the way is Kendall Fuller. He's, he's been thrown into a leadership position with the absence of safeties, Derek Forrest and Jeremy Reeves. He's a guy that has stepped up and more verbal, communicated a lot with, with the other guys in the back end, and has made plays when he's got his chances. And then on the other side of the ball, it goes through Terry McLaurin in the passing game. Last week, six catches for 81 yards with a season-high 11 targets. He accounted for more than half of their passing yards last week. The numbers weren't crazy, but it's half the production. And, and he's a guy that can make explosive plays. But Sam Howe has to find other players to do it with. He's a guy that's taken far too many hits. He was efficient last week. But it's going to be important to find tight ends, n different receivers, and not put all of the pressure on Terry McLaurin uh, for Sam Howe on this commander's offense. This is one of five divisional games on today's schedule. An age-old rivalry between Washington and New York. Kickoff is coming up on CBS.
Giants fans hoping to see Big Blue stop their four-game losing streak. It's the Giants and Commanders, Week 7 of the NFL on CBS.